following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? Happy New Year too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out at you? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago oh yeah and it kind of hit me like a brick but you're right somebody always knows something hey carlos what's going on brother i'm calling you back tom this morning i had a pleasure to talk to you and your son and i don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again why well, i think you made some money on this bond <laughs> oh yes tom your newsletter helped me that's a beautiful to, uh... thing we appreciate the growling problem with us out here now tom o'brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You are only responsible for your half of the relationship. There are two halves in every relationship, but you're responsible for your half of that relationship. It's not up to you to control the other half. Respect the other half, and there is always going to be peace in that relationship. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 132. NASDAQ's down 26. S&Ps are up 3. Gold contract trading down $13.40 at $13.16 an ounce. Silver, down 30 cents, $16.28 an ounce. Copper. Down 10 cents, big number, folks, nine, nine and a half pennies, 309 a pound. Light sweet crude also getting whacked. That's down a buck 64. Plenty of oil out here, plenty of uh, gas, plenty of heating oil, all of the above, 61.75. Notes, 10 year note, down 17 ticks, 120.30. 30 year bond off a point, almost two points, point in 20 ticks, 144.13. King dollar, King dollar up 709 ticks, trading at 90.160. The euro is at 122 and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 109 and a half to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Volatility staying in the marketplace. This is kind of a classic. Bottom line is that you get couple really sweet bounces. Uh, bottom line is that we, if we take a look at this S&P, what you're going to see here, we just about did a 50% retracement from the highs to the lows. Uh, actually, the S&P almost did a 0.618. No, it did. It did a 50%. Right on the nose, too, actually. Pretty intense. So a 50% retracement from the high to the low uh, was the 272.41 area. We went to 272.36. Giving it up. Bottom line, now the question is going to be, uh, coming into the close, number one, uh, do we sell off into the close? All the SPY has to do is close under 269.70. Right now, you're at 269.41. And what you have is you have a potential C of a monster ABC structure on the way down. And on the, in the uh, SPY, you're talking about the A point being 286.62 uh, down to uh, 258. So you are talking some, uh, that's 28 bucks. That's, that's a big number. Um, big number. No two ways about that. NDX 100, same type of setup. We take a look at the Qs out here. What you're going to see with the Qs. The Qs got to a high out here today of 163.55. Uh, we have done 73 million shares. You go downtown yesterday with uh, 118. The Qs close under 162.51, which like, looks like it's going to, that sets up either an ABC structure down are a test of the lows. The, the lows, this high volume low will get tested, folks. The real bottom line is that uh, do we have something else that's coming out of the woodwork here? And as you go through uh, that B point, do you get the volume? Now, what normally happens is this. If we go into, so I'll give you the bullish and bearish scenario here. If we go into the B point too quick, meaning we go into the B point in the next couple of days, bottom line, it's going to be really tough to take that out because the market will not have enough energy to blow that out. That would be specifically a test 
of the low. If you get a rejection with lower price, what that does is set up a consolidation between the lows of yesterday and the highs which were generated. That's your first scenario. That would be the bullish scenario. The bearish scenario would be that you come down and you get very close to that low from yesterday. You take off again and you go up one light of volume and we do that for about two, a good two weeks. You get that going, guess what? Then you'll have the identification as to how you bounce higher versus how we're going lower, whether you're building cars to blow out that B point of this ABC structure. And if we go into inside the queues and you take a look at it, you're going to see a monster move there too. The top of the A point is 170.95. Let's call it 171. Your B is uh, 155. So you're talking 15 bucks. Your C would be out here today, which would get you down into the uh, 148 mark. And the 148 uh, is pretty intense. 148 brings you back to where the queues broke topside on October 16th. So. Big numbers. There's big numbers all over the place. Uh, we take a look at uh, inside the, let's do the small cap. So we do the IWM. Inside the small caps out here, what you have, uh, small caps, the, right now they're trading at 150.11, uh, close under 150.37 uh, would be the same type of setup, meaning it uh, very well could be a C to D of an ABC structure down. Uh, on the way up, we've done 31 million, and way down, 69 million, bottom line. Uh, these are all basically setting up. What was intriguing out here this morning, and, and this was kind of a heads up um, in um, the sense that you had every, you had just about every broker dealer out there turning around, let me see if I can get a couple of these quotes, uh, saying uh, bottom line is that uh, this is a buy, this is a buy, this is a buy. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you something, folks. Uh, when that happens, um, after the fact that you get uh, a nice downdraft, you know, that's not, that's not a buy. It's just that that's not how it's set up. Uh, if it reminds me of anything, uh, it reminds me every time there's a, a decent downdraft. Uh, when we get a bottom, what you're going to hear is you're not going to hear the broker-dealer community saying, come out and buy. That's the bottom line. You know, this is a fast, furious move on the way down. And uh, you had a lot of press about the aspect of uh, the VIX product. But the bottom line is, is that it's just not the VIX product. It's not even close. Because what you have, folks, is that when you have ETF structures, which ETFs are running the market right now, it's great on the way up. And on the way down, what ends up happening is that whether it's the Qs, the Diamonds, or the Spies, if you sell the Qs, Diamonds, and the Spies, everything inside those have to get sold. Individually, if people are selling the equities with a large weighting structure inside the, d the diamonds, the spies, or the small caps, guess what? That has to get sold. That's the acceleration down. That's where, there's, that's where those machines take over. Bottom line, fast, furious, and then what also ends up happening is simultaneously the bids are pulled from the marketplace because who wants to step in front of that train? You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrial is up 188, NASDAQ is down 14, S&Ps are up 850, coming right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Go get them, folks.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. 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 Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 176. You get the Nasdaq down 18. S&Ps are up 6. Percentage-wise, what we have out here, folks, is that you have the Dow up uh, 7 tenths of 1%. S&Ps up 1 tenth. Uh, Nasdaq down 2 tenths. Uh, if we go into the NDX 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here, um, what you're going to see out here, weakness uh, today, Google's putting uh, 23 uh, down 23 bucks. Uh, you get Amazon down 15. Uh, Priceline is up 27. Wynn's up 13. Hasbro is up uh, almost 9. Uh, that is one big number on Hasbro. And it's interesting, too, because uh, it seemed that the numbers uh, just weren't great with Hasbro. But guess what? Bottom line is that uh, those babies went topside in a huge way. Hasbro is probably going to be the only uh, a toy company that's, that's left out here. Dow Industrials, strength, and weak, uh, strength versus weakness inside the Dow. What you have is that you have Boeing putting 69 positive points into it out of the 167. United Technologies, 19. United Health, 18. Taken away from it, Apple. Apple, uh, negative uh, 14 points. Microsoft, 9. Chevron, 7. IBM, 5. If we go over and we take a look at the oil market, what you're going to see, oil's taking a nice hit out here today, folks. Uh, oil's down at 2.5%. Uh, we traded to a low of 61.25. Oil numbers came out. Bottom line is that we have oil all over the place. Um, this is a, a nice uh, breakdown with volume inside that oil market. I expect what you're going to be seeing here is that oil is going to make a run somewhere down to this 58.34 uh, area. Market-wise, uh, so uh, what you had out here, uh, intraday out here today, folks, is that you had the Senate. They just turned around and made a deal. Uh, for a budget, a two-year budget, uh, big money budget, uh, that's the bottom line. Deficit is going to go through the moon. Uh, which is intriguing is that they actually suspended the federal debt ceiling until March of 2019. So that means they, they can just keep borrowing money. Now, that being said, uh, it's not a wrap. It's not a wrap because that's just the Senate. Now it goes over to the House. Uh, we have until uh, tomorrow night uh, for the House to make a deal. Uh, for them all to get it together uh, in order to basically keep this government going. So what I expect you're going to see is that the volatility uh, is going to continue. We go from one volatility deal, meaning just the market in general, uh, and then you'll have news-driven events. Let's go to Dave in Boston. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm good. I'm good, Tom. Hey, they... I just wanted to check with you about, uh, I called you the other day on GPL, there, and I was hoping it was going to hold at 119. Let's see what you think. So we, we, it's, it's coming into this, uh, the strength from the 13th, 
But now the, the high of that is 120, the low is 108. Um, on Thursday, let's see, what day is today? No, today's Wednesday. On Monday, it got down to the yep. 115. And that, that was an expansion of volume. So you get 1 million shares. Um, now, now, it's going against 1.3, which is good, but we haven't held the price yet. That's what it has to do. I mean, I still like yeah. the setup. The bottom line is that it has to hold the price, though, you know, which it hasn't done. And uh, coming into the close, let me just see a few more of these. Okay, that's not bad. Pan American Silver's not bad. That's another silver stock. First Majestic, that's in trouble. First Majestic's in trouble anyway. Let's see what Heckler looks like. What we're doing, I'm pulling up the silver stocks here. Heckler's not yeah. bad. Heckler's not bad. So, bottom so line. Give it, a, give it a little more breathing room. Hold on to it. Yeah, oh, I'd hold on to it because I'd be, yeah, I'd hold on to it, man. I mean, there's nothing, this can go against that 108, you know. I mean, that's right. real. It really, you know, that's, right. that's real, man, so. All right, I'll hang tight on it. Okay, man. Have a great right, one. Tom, Have a safe one. Yeah, let's go look at that dollar because the dollar caught a bid out here today. Uh, DXH8. So let's see what we have. So, okay, so you get 31,000 contracts. It's holding price, but that's the first time in a long time. Okay, so 95.30 is game then. So 95.30 would be, you know, another 400 ticks up from where we are. And what that is is that that's where we came down hard on the 12th of January. We came down with 40,000 contracts. You know, let me see this intraday. What has happened intraday in this dollar, uh, and this is why I keep an eye on it coming into the close, uh, it seems that uh, every close it's having a hard time holding price at all. You know, now this is one, one of the best times it's, it's held it. Uh, you know, it came down a little off uh, 1.30 in the afternoon. But I just watched it coming into the close. So that is uh, basically getting a, a real dead cat bounce. Well, not a, yeah, let's go back over it. It's not a real dead cat bounce because what happens each and every time with the dollar, this thing has been down since January of last year. Um, this dollar would have to get a lot higher uh, in order to basically break its downtrend. We're way away from that. You know, thus far, you came off the low of the 25th of 88.255. And, you know, bottom line, yeah, 95.30 is going to get tested. That's, let's, let's go take a look at the euro correlation. So the euro, yep, euro is backing down into its strength. Let's go look at the yen. So the yen right now, 109.59. Okay, and that's not going anywhere. Yeah, so um, it's going to be bottom line. I expect you're going you're gonna to probably get another four or 500 ticks. Uh, more than likely, we'll probably see that tomorrow. What I do, do expect you're going to see out here, though, folks, uh, not though, also, uh, this volatility is not going to stop in the marketplace. Um, what you have here, let's go to the XLE for a second. Let me show you something inside the oil market. Inside the oil market, uh, this looks like a monster ABC down also. Uh, Exxon started the deal off. Um, uh, the XLE is down from $78, uh, trading 69, has volume down there, hasn't been able to hold price today. If we go look at Exxon, what you're going to see is that also couldn't hold price. This is down in uh, seven trading days from 89 to 77. It's banging the bottom swing point and it has monster volume. This looks like to me it's going to get right into this uh, 75 to 66. Big number. Big number, folks, okay? And what that sets up, just to, so the correlation in that would be that if that's where oil is going, and that's where the oil stocks are going, that would hit the S&Ps because they still have a large weighting structure. We go into the financials. Uh, financials are holding up. Uh, bottom line, the financials right now, uh, up 29 cents, you're at 28.67. And uh, what is happening is if we take a look at the yield curve, you're going to see, let's see, let's do the curve. Okay. So if we do the curve, you, you're going to see this is where banks can make money because every part of the curve is going up. The two-year, three, five, seven, ten, and 30. Uh, they're all going up. And uh, I suspect what that's going to be all about, and this is where the markets are taking conniptions, as to how fast do 
interest rates go up and how much money we're going to be spending. And if we take a look at just the first Senate uh, get together, that is saying that we will have unlimited amounts of money to spend until March of 2019. That, folks, is one big number, if that's the case. But that's how that's uh, shaken out uh, inside of the Senate bill. Now, we'll see what the House bill is going to come up with. I suspect uh, there's going to be more fighting about uh, the amount of money that's going to be spent. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 232. NASDAQ is down 11. SPs are up 11. We'll come right back. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously develops accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? You know, you can't time the markets. I didn't. And in 2006, I set out on a mission to do just that. I began by surrounding myself with the greats like Tom O'Brien, Larry Pesavento, David White, and Basil Chapman. I read countless books and even looked to the moon and planets for answers. Now, we both know that trading is 80% mental. So I learned the exact tools that Tony Robbins uses to overcome fear. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And last March, the folks at Timer's Digest began tracking my newsletter signals, which through January 18th, 2018 placed me as the number one gold timer for that exact time frame. Now, I can't officially be recognized until Timers Digest has a full year of signals, but clearly, I've learned how to time the markets, and I'd like to teach you how to do that as well. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain access to my live and archive workshops where I show you the exact same patterns that earn me this number one ranking. If you're looking for great market calls and an education, sign up for Mastering Probability today at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow up 228. NASDAQ is down 9. S&Ps are up 10. And after the close out here, folks, we are going to have lots of numbers coming out. Uh, Tesla's at uh, 430. You got, uh, let's see. Uh, Yelp is at 4.05. You got Yum at 4.30. We got uh, O'Reilly Automotive at uh, 4.30. It's too bad they're at the 4.30 because that's when the futures are closed. 4.15, they close. Uh, bottom line is that uh, the NX, uh, we, you still get a lot of uh, numbers that are going to be coming out uh, fast and furious. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, King Dog out here, Amazon. So Amazon, folks, uh, right now is trading down $13. Now, in this downdraft, you know, Amazon didn't get touched. 
uh, when you look at Amazon versus the rest of the market. So Amazon had made a high last Friday. That high was 1498. Uh, Monday, heavy day, it, you know, got down to 1320, ended up closing at 1390. Bottom line, took it all back yesterday, and you're still at highs. It's pretty amazing uh, what Amazon pulled off in that downdraft. Now watch the, the now if we go over to Google, different ball game. Uh, Google is down 24 bucks. Uh, Google had gapped away. So Google had gapped away on its numbers. So that was a bad start right off the you know bottom line off the bat. Google had gone from 1174 opened on uh, the 2nd of February at 1122 and then went down to 11.07. Now, Google's having a hard time holding price at all. It's coming into the last time it had any big volume where it broke out on the 27th of October. And if we bring this back a little and start looking at it, what you're going to see is that it broke a major uptrend that comes all the way back to 9.09. So, in Google's case, 909 is game. That's how that shakes out. Uh, we go take a look at, uh, let's do uh, Facebook. Let's see what we got with Facebook out here. So Facebook, yeah, this baby's going south too. So Facebook made the high of 195, got down yesterday to 177. You're trading at 181. Bring this back a little. Oh, that's interesting though. Actually, when you bring this back, now Facebook, it's like it's almost like Facebook didn't move either. You put this on a weekly, and it's it's almost like you can't even tell that we had a downdraft. So that's pretty incredible. Snap, Snap, come out with the numbers this morning, and uh, what you what you have with Snap? Snap is up uh, six dollars. Uh, you're at 2019. This has the momentum behind it. It has the volume behind it. It has everything behind it. Uh, their numbers. Uh, bottom line is that they accelerated the numbers in a big way. Uh, it's almost a uh, remake of uh, when we've seen, if you want to see an acceleration, this is pretty amazing, the type of acceleration these, these guys are doing. It just, just social media in general, when they get it, the acceleration going, it's pretty amazing. So 2015, they took in 58 million. 2016, 404. 2017, 824. This year, they plan on taking in 1.3 billion. Now, that being said, they're still in a loss. But guess what? That loss is going down dramatically. Uh, and then on top of that, what you have with Snap is that Tencent Holdings came in and bought 17.5% of them. Now, Tencent Holdings, folks, okay, uh, is a company that in the United States, people really don't know, but they're going to know it. Uh, and the reason they're going to know it is that this is one of the most successful companies in China, and they are printing money upside down. And this company here, okay, so Hong Kong dollars, this just went from 108 Hong Kong dollars uh, to 414 Hong Kong dollars. And so to give you a correlation of uh, Hong, uh, one uh, Hong Kong dollar is worth like 13 cents. That's, that's, that's the correlation. Um, what you have here, let me go, oh, I got to get that back up for you because I want you to see something. Because this company prints money and it's not like our social companies that have actually, uh, as they grow, they've lost money. This company has been printing money for a long period of time and they make earnings that are spectacular. It's crazy, man. You know, they started out in 2014 at 79 billion. This year they're doing 333 billion. Guess what? Even in 2014, when they're starting out, they're making $2.62. Kong Kong. Now they're making 688. Next year they make it 902. So when I looked at this, is that Snap's big competition, no doubt, is Instagram. Instagram's owned by uh, Facebook, of course, right? Bottom line, though, guess what? Tencent owns 17 and a half percent of it. Universal put up 500 million at their IPO. Tencent's not going to let that company get away. So bottom line is that I expect what you're going to see out here, you know, maybe the next few quarters, that good old uh, Tencent's going to come in and take them out. And that's why you see that uh, expansion of volume out there. And uh, never mind that uh, this has, this had a large shot position anyway. 
And now what's going on is that we are at a 21.1% shot position, and the stock went up $6 today. Um, and guess what? When you take a look at this, what's out here basically just wanting to be tested is that high from the first trading week, which is the $29.44, because it's, it's launched the consolidation, has the volume behind the move, um, has the numbers behind the move, and then bottom line is that the biggest part of this, I would say, is that uh, you have sponsorship that is very large. You know, that's, that's the bottom line, because everyone's always looking at who's going to take me out. Well, in their case, what you're going to see is 17.5%. You think they're going to let uh, someone else come in? Well, if someone else does come in, it would be Zuckerberg, of course, uh, worrying that they're just trying to be a defensive position against Tencent because Tencent can also come into Facebook. That's, that's the reality once people start getting used to it because uh, they, are a lot, they have a lot more product than Facebook. That's the bottom line. Uh, they do a lot more than uh, just uh, pushing things back and forth. They have, they're into the game market in a huge way, and it's a conglomerate that has many of those things uh, all together. Dow right now is up 263. They're catching a bid coming into the close. You get the S&Ps uh, up 15. NASDAQ is up three. So we just went from a negative to a positive. Let's go take a look at these again because when we started this uh, off, NDX 100, uh, in order to basically uh, get that uh, B to C, well, the index has to close over 66.73. We're still a lot lower than that. Let me just see the Qs for a second. Well, kids, yeah, well they're, they're making a run for it. Qs would have to go over 162.51. Yeah, that's still a long way to go. That's still a long way to go. And in markets like these, which is pretty cool, uh, is that uh, it doesn't take much to basically uh, go up. Test the resistance, give it up, go down the other side. Let's go over and take a look at some of these miners. We'll take a look at the GDX first. Uh, GDX is coming into its strength. You're coming in with 31 million shares versus 82. You know, we want to see a rejection of price, but the volume contraction is right. Uh, what will happen in the GTA, GDX, though, of course, is that coming into the close, we're going to get some volume. We'll see how much volume we get. We take a look at an Eco Eagle. Bottom line, you're testing the low of yesterday. That doesn't look bad. Royal Gold. Royal Gold's going to test this high volume swing low. You want that to happen, too. Royal Gold's down a buck, $80.96. You stay right there, folks. Uh, we'll do a wrangle as soon as we come back. Dow Industrials right now up 255. NASDAQ flat. S&P's up 13 and a half. We're coming right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects.
David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now at 245. You get the NASDAQ uh, flat. SPs are up by 12 and a half. Uh, we take a look at uh, some of the higher volume stocks out here. Let's see where we're at. We have Ford Motor is up 10 cents. You get uh, Bank of America up 37. Micron Tech is down 150. That was up four bucks yesterday. They had some action going. Apple's down two bucks. You have uh, Freeport Mac ran off uh, 70 cents. We have uh, Facebook down 350. Now let's go back to that gold market. We'll go look at Rango Resources. So Rango Resources, folks, down 353. Now this stock has taken a monster hit, and this is. Uh, and was one of the strongest stocks in the gold market for a long period of time. Uh, this came out with numbers uh, on the second. Uh, I was trading at 100 bucks. Right now you're at 85.64. And let's bring this back. Okay, so okay, so you're, you're breaking swings. You have volume on the move, which is problem. So that gives you 89. Let's say, yeah, it's 20 bucks. That's, uh, that's saying 69 is game here. This could be, this is a little problem, child. Yeah, let me pull this up and do this on a monthly for a second. So it's a problem child on a monthly too. Okay, I'm gonna put it back to a weekly. On, on a monthly, it's kind of where it is right now. Uh, it could get some support, but the way this is trading, I wouldn't expect that. You're coming, we're coming into a downdraft from the week of the 11th of November. Now, the high of that is 90, the low 73. Yeah, this is game, this is game to bottom line, get into that uh, 80 to 73 number. That's what's going on. So that's a big number. Let's go look at uh, Franco Nevada. Uh, Franco Nevada, that's going south too. This is not. This is not great. This is not good. These 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 equities here, Franco Nevada, and Rangold, they like trading where the the metal price is going. Okay, now the difference here, Franco Nevada, yeah, this is a big contraction of volume though. So, Franco Nevada, right there, sixty nine dollars. Okay, so this would be. What we'd like to see with Franco Nevada actually is it hit the 6936 area. It hasn't done it yet. I don't believe it has. No, it hasn't. It hit 70. Because then what you'd have is this. You have a high volume low, and the high of that low, the low is $53.87. The high is 69.36. That is the week of the 30th. Uh, that's what it's going into. You know, if we dig into it, bottom line can get to the bottom of it. You don't dig into it, you get the re rejection of price, then you get action. I'm going to go over to Royal Gold, take a look at Royal. So Royal had this big spike down. That's what that's trying to test. That's testing on a lot lighter volume. So Royal's not a bad setup. 
Um, ABX. Let's go take a look at one of the weakest ones. So, okay, so Barrick Gold has been one of the weakest ones. 1328. Looks like Barrick's going to try to hold this 1328. That's going to be a big number. Newmont, it missed it by a couple pennies out here today. Uh, Newmont, up 24 cents. Yeah, this is, these things are, are going to keep testing because Newmont came off the high with volume. You can make the case that you almost, uh, if Newmont closed under 1556, which are at 1576, you can make the case that this could be a large ABC down too. So bottom line is that uh, we need a rejection of lower price inside of the metals market, which we don't have yet. That's, that's how these are setting up. And more than likely, what that has to do with is that uh, the good old dollar moving. The notes and bonds, folks, are going to be problem childs. And they look to me like they're big problem childs because the, the market itself is reacting very quickly. Um, and what we'll get, uh, it says the Senate bill is done, meaning, you know, what the Senate is saying that they've put together. The... Inside of that, when we talk bonds, you're talking interest rates that are very well could go dramatically higher. And, and it's not that the, we know that the, a lot of money has been spent, will be spent. The kicker I think that the market's going to look at inside of that is that they suspended the debt ceiling. <laughs> That's pretty intense. So they, when you suspend the debt ceiling to March of 2019, that means that they Bottom line, the debt ceiling's there for a reason. It's there for a reason so that they just don't keep putting bills through and printing money. And bottom line is that that's gone now, and uh, that is a bad time for it to be gone because of the aspect of bonds and notes broke down anyway. So the real question is, is that uh, if they're going to uh, print extraordinary amounts of money, guess what? Those rates are going to go higher. Now, that being said, what you also have is that because my take on this goes like this. We had the downdraft. If these notes and bonds move much higher quicker, we're going to have a downdraft that's going to be disgusting. And that will get the central bank's attention. You know, you had a couple central bankers come out today, and I love that quote. The quote was, the quote was awesome. The quote was that, uh, no, they didn't think this was an event that, yeah, if you're in the markets, you know, uh, bottom line, is, you know, you get a correction going on and all that. Um, and then the caveat at the end of it was, if, in fact, markets go lower and stay lower, then it would get my attention. Well, guess what? Rates going higher um, are getting, is getting the market's attention. And my larger take is that what we're going to get, you'll get the correction. The notes and bonds will somehow catch a bid. And then the Fed will balk again, you know. So we'll see where it shakes out. But that's kind of how I think this thing is going to lay out in the next uh, two or three months. What's going to be intriguing for us in the metal market, of course, is that if you have the aspect of rates going higher, that hurts the metals market in a heartbeat. Uh, what it absolutely does is put strength, it should put strength behind the dollar. That being said, if, in fact, the inflation genie is already out of the bottle, uh, then what you'd have is that the rate of inflation is happening faster than the rate hikes themselves. So it's going to be pretty cool watching this whole thing shake out, I can tell you that, um, because the structure itself, the interest rate structure itself, there's a whole generation that has never seen rates go higher. And you have to wrap your head around this pretty quickly. Because the fact of the matter is uh, higher rates put a number on a lot of things, and they put a number on a lot of things very, very quickly. Because what they're going to do, they're going to reduce certain assets by the amount that has to be paid. Why? Because bottom line, it's all about signatures, folks. Bottom, that's, that's the kind of market that we're in. And uh, we'll see where it shakes out. As we're coming into the close out here again, uh, these NQs, they're, they're weak. Well, the... Uh, the volatility here is just so wild, man. Uh, and bottom line, you know, 
If you haven't test, uh, well, not even haven't test drove the uh, the Tigers, then we opened our trading room, folks. Come on in. Bottom line, you want to be the trader? This is the time when markets are moving like this. Guess what? Doesn't it didn't matter today whether you're a, a bull or a bear, as long as you're basically buying and selling. You stay right there, folks. We come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Now is up 46. You get the NASDAQ down 47. S&Ps are off 7. And uh, they were slamming this uh, into the close out here, folks. So, so bottom line is that uh, we'll see if this expand uh, expansion goes. Uh, but when we do look at these ETFs, uh, bottom line is that, as I said a little bit earlier, uh, what you have is that when the Qs gets old, all the ETF, all the equities inside the ETF has to get sold. Uh, when Apple gets sold, guess what? Bottom line, it puts more pressure on the. Cues and that has to get sold. So, bottom line, we have uh, this high volatility number that's coming at us, and you can expect this high volatility to stay for a, a long period of time. Uh, the cool thing is, is that, as I was just saying a little bit earlier, that's when you can trade both sides of this market. Uh, you just can't get greedy. Bottom line is that you get the support, you get the um, uh, resistance. You know, if, you, if we go take a look, what, you, what you're going to see inside the, you know, the, the, inside the queues, I'm sure, well, I don't know if this is all, all of them. I've, I've been 
uh, trading the Qs out here today. Uh, bottom line is that what you're going to see, you had two separate tests um, of these lows. I expect this one is going to get blown through, but we'll see. The first one went down. Uh, this was at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. You had 19,000 contracts uh, at the 65.83. You got, went top side. You going right into ice. That was at the 66.55. We came down. We retested. That retest only had 10,000 contracts versus 19. So you can see the energy was coming out of it. Went back top side again. Energy came out of it as we were coming into the downdraft of uh, yesterday at 1 o'clock. 18,000 contracts. You were going in with 7,200. So bottom line is that it's going to try to get into uh, this low once again as we come into the close. Uh, you can see the, the ranges. The ranges are big. Bottom line is you just try to take uh, something out inside the, the middle of those ranges as the trading day is moving on. As you come over to our website at TFNN, folks, you're going to see right on the front of the carousel, Tiger's Den. 30 days, absolutely free. Check it out, folks. Great trading room. Lots of great Tigers and Tigers is in there. Uh, it'll help you out each and every day. You stay right there, folks. Lots of numbers coming out after the close today. We have the Dow Industrials up 50, NASDAQ down 44, S&P's up 6.5. We'll come right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look who oh, we have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But Holy commo! I mean, it went up to four hundred and twenty dollars last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go ten hours a day. We go twenty-four hours a day on the internet at tfnn.com. Always remember, folks. Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night. As Paul would say, holy tamole. Love that saying. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you gotta serve the one you love. To serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch you fear there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 19. NASDAQ off 63, S&P's down 16. Now, when you look at that, folks, it doesn't look bad, except in the context of what we had out here is that you had the Dow Industrials were trading up at 25,293. Bottom line, it gave up 300 points. Uh, you have a potential ABC structure on the way down, and it's a monster. Your A point on this is uh, 26,600, which is the high generated out there on the 26th of January. Uh, 26,616, and the low is 23,778. So you're talking, uh, bottom line, about 2,900 Dow points. Uh, 
big number. Uh, that would bring you down somewhere into the uh, uh, 20, uh, let's see, 3, 22,000. Yeah, 22,000. Uh, man, that would be a move. Um, yeah, 22,300. That would bring you uh, down to the September 19th time frame. Uh, bottom line, uh, the indices have it. So if we go to the SPY, we take a look at the SPY. What you're going to see with the SPY is this. SPY gets up to a price point today of 272. You close at 267. You had volume out here of uh, 153, 153 million. You came downtown with 355. Big number. So you, you get the A to B set up in there. It's a monster A to B. A point is, uh, let's call it, well, it's 286.62. Your B point's 258. So 68, 78, uh, 88. Holy cow. You're talking about, uh, yeah, 28 points. Uh, big number. There's no two ways about that. Uh, that's your SPY. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. Uh, NDX got up to a price point today of 163.55. You're at 160. You did volume of 85 million. Your A point on this is uh, 171, 170.91 to be exact. Your B is uh, 155. So you're talking like 15 bucks, uh, which would get you down to the uh, 148 mark. And 148 uh, would bring you back to where we broke topside in October. That's how this baby's set up. So if you don't have my book, folks, great time to go over to Amazon and get it, um, The Art of Time in the Trade. Because if you want to understand how these ABCs work, uh, when you get a high volatile market, bottom line is that you're going to hit these numbers and they're going to be fast, furious. Um, uh, an ABC structure, whether it's up or down, there's straight line moves. You do a counter trend move, it has light volume. As you go, if you're going down, you start going down again, the volume would expand. If it breaks the B point with volume, you get a price projection of A to B equals C to D. Bottom line, um, it will find out uh, if, in fact, that's what we're going to get. I do expect, you know, for all your bulls out here, if, you, if we come down too fast, meaning if you come down tomorrow and go test this out, my take there would be it would be too fast and it would probably be a buy. The reason being is that, <coughs> excuse me, folks, the amount of energy it took to come down yesterday was, was fast in itself. Today, it had more energy on the way down. And energy expends itself, whether it's going down or whether it's going up. Uh, so if this is going to be an ABC structure down, what I would expect is that you would build uh, some cars before we go after that B point. Small caps, same setup in the small caps. In fact, let's go over to the IWM and take a look at the IWM. IWM, um, 149.84. That, that would have a close after, over uh, 150.37 in order to basically not uh, have a structure of an ABC structure on the way down. Uh, Tesla, TSLA, Tesla just come out with numbers. Let's see what Tesla is saying. Tesla closed at 345. It was up $11. Right now it's trading 350. So it's up five more bucks. And let's see what they have to say here. Uh, Okay, so the estimated loss was 320, and they lost 304, so they lost a little less than they thought they were going to lose. That being said, this is all going to be about, uh, let's see. Okay, the cash, this is the big one, I guess, why it's up. Cash burn is way less than the street expected. Tesla's going to get 5,000 cars a week by the end of the second quarter. Uh, Tesla sees the, their model SX deliveries at 100,000 in 2018. Their gross margin uh, is going down. The estimate on gross margin was 14.8. Uh, now a gross margin is 13.8. So that's down a point. That's a big number. They reaffirm uh, the Model 3 second end production rate. I. Uh, Oh, this is a big one. So uh, Elon Musk is saying that they expect uh, positive operating profit in some point of uh, 2018. So that would be uh, quite a feat if that's what he pulls off. Because what you have had is that, uh, you know, Tesla 
gross wise uh well, big numbers, actually. 2014, they did 3.6 million. This year, they expect to do 19.6. Next year, 27.3. So there's no doubt that uh, that uh, there's big numbers that are behind that move. Let's go over and take a look at Royal Gold. Royal Gold uh, just come out with numbers. Royal Gold closed at $80.69. Uh, that's trading, uh, well, looks like it's trading the same. Uh, they were a little shot on their uh, revenue. Uh, 1.6% below on revenue. Let's see. So, Royal Gold reported revenue for the second quarter that was 1.6 below the average analyst estimate. Uh, their average gold selling price was 12.75. They their range uh, was the estimate was 42 cents. They made 41. Not the end of the world. Uh, bottom line is that they're not selling it off. That's the good news. Uh, they closed at. Uh, 80.69, and you, you're still at that number. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 19, NASDAQ down 63, S&Ps up 25. Oh, they slammed those S&Ps again. What, look at that slam into the close. They just brought those down another 10 points, folks, in a split second. Stay right there. We're coming right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go take a look at these futures. They slammed these futures, folks, uh, coming right into the close. So if we take a look at the uh, E-minis first, what you're going to see is that the... There we go. Okay, so we closed down uh, $26, 
And from the high of the low today, a uh, big number once again. A uh, high was at 26, 27, 26. Uh, we closed out at 26.68. Uh, and if we bring this a little bit closer so you can see the acceleration down coming into the close, it was a monster. A uh, big number. Someone uh, pushed 158,000 contracts in at 10 minutes past, uh, 10, 10 minutes of three. Uh, basically, that broke the whole day's uh, trading range. And what you want to get your head wrapped around here, and I was, I was talking about this uh, earlier today, you had the broker-dealer community come out here this morning uh, saying it's all clear, bottom line, buy. You never see that, folks, when you have reached the bottom. The bottom line is that they're pushing, pushing, pushing. Uh, when we get close to a bottom, you can hear the broker-dealer community say nothing. That's, that's how this thing always works. Uh, it's a counterintuitive deal, but that's, that's the reality. If we go over and take a look at the NQs, what you're going to see inside the NQs, uh, same type of setup, uh, bottom line from, uh, we hit a high out here today of 67.17. Uh, you closed out at the lows uh, at 65.55. Did the same type of setup. Uh, in both cases, too, we actually came up to ice. Uh, that we come up to the breakdown uh, on Monday, right where it started the breakdown, gave it up, gave it up with the volume. Uh, inside the marketplace, and uh, that's uh, what it takes in order to basically get folks more tuned to what's happening actually inside this market. Uh, if we do take a look at the high volume spikes you have out here, they're going to get tested. Now, let's go over to the bond market. So, I suspect with, where the, it's going to be news driven. Now it's selling driven. You know, if, if we had stayed up a little bit higher today, it would have been strictly news driven. But if we take a look at the 10 year note, this is what you have happening with the note. Uh, the 10 year note today did uh, 2 million contracts. Now we're going to go against 2.8 million. You know, the 10 year note basically had a sideways day. Um, I suspect what we're going to see though, and as this goes down, interest rates go up. Uh, what, I, what I do expect we're going to see is we're going to see a test of this, uh, you know, 12018. Simultaneously, as that's testing that low, that's when the market has been taking conniptions of faster interest rate hikes. The way the 10-year is set up, <laughs> this is what's really cool. The way this is set up is that when we came off that low yesterday, you had high volume, you also had wide price spread, so my take is that that's going to get tested. Now this is where the really cool thing is, because when you start putting a couple of these indices together as to where you think this market's going to go, the way this is set up is that, yeah, I, I suspect we're going to go after the B point. As you're going after the B point, bonds are going to go after their low. What you're going to see, somehow, is if we go after the B point too quick, it's going to reject it because of the amount of energy, which I said a little bit earlier. Then what you're going to see is bonds are going to go and at least test this 122.19. That's on the 10-year. And what that will be is that that will be, you know, I was talking about this a little bit earlier in the first hour, that will be one of the central bankers uh, turning around and saying what they were saying out here today is that the market correction or the downdraft didn't mean anything. Okay, bottom line, um, the market folks' job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time. And I've been saying that forever, and now I'm going to add on and to get the central bank's attention. <laughs> and they will, when, when you're a central banker and say that the market doesn't have my attention, guess what? The market is going to get their attention. And that attention will be the volatility that's coming down and the amount of wealth that went south very quickly. You know, we take a look at this S&P, it's not, it's not like, you know, it's been up for two years. This is, that, my take is we get a normal correction. The difference is, is that when you don't have a correction for a long period of time, you don't have to come down a lot in order to have folks get more worried, number one. And number two, the amount of leverage that is in the market, unfortunately, is much higher than normal. 
So normally, let's say if a, you get a conservative investor that haven't been leveling up at all, sometimes they might lever up even just 10 percent, 15 percent, okay? They're not levering 50, but they're levering up something. And then what ends up happening, as you go higher, they're putting more lever on, and you don't have to go that far down in order to basically lose a lot more money. So right now, you know, if we take a look at where we're at, it doesn't even look like the market has moved on a monthly or a weekly basis. Now, that being said, we're at 267. If we just get a regular shallow retracement, you can get to, uh, this is on the S&P, we're at 267. We could get to 235 just on a shallow retracement. And 235, folks, people would be having conniptions at 235 because of the fact uh, that we haven't got a correction in so long. The last time that I remember that the markets had gone up for a long period of time and we only got a small correction, but yet it was a large correction in the context because we hadn't got one, was from 1994 to 1996, the market just went straight up. You know, uh, every single day it went up, 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 and then what ended up happening, we had a correction that took place about four to six weeks, and that correction actually put people out of business. It was, it was crazy, you know, and it was, it was an intense correction. There's no doubt about it. It was only, it was about a 12% correction, but it had to do with the aspect of how people are levered up. That's what it had to do with. So we'll see where this uh, whole thing's going to shake out. Let's go take a look, a look at Tesla again. Tesla, yeah, Tesla's trading 350. It was up 11 bucks. Let's see, 350, 360 is your next uh, point higher out here. Uh, oil market today. Oh, let's go to the copper market. Copper got smoked. Let's see what's going on with copper. Copper, where is it? Copper was down 3%. It was down nine and a half pennies with monster volume. Okay, so you broke your swing at uh, 310. You're at 309. I see. Interesting. Okay. You're coming into your downdraft from the fifth. Well, let's say that that can get tested. The bottom of the fifth, which is 294. Let's go see Freeport Mac Moran. That's a big copper stock. That didn't act bad. It was down 88 cents. Southern Copper. I'll tell you, for copper being down that bad, uh, the actual equities did not act bad at all. Southern Cop was only down 80 cents, trading 47.22. Uh, That's not the end of the world. That's not even close to the end of the world. Um, some of the uh, higher, oh, let's go look at Lululemon. Lululemon, I believe their CEO left today. So Lululemon was up 237. Let's see what happened here. So. Okay, so you got another CEO said to involve employee relationships. Man, they're just all over the place. Um, you're up 237, trading 80. Oh, this, is a good, this is a good setup, man. This is going after its high with volume. You might have another ABC structure on the way up. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 19, NASDAQ off 63, S&P's down 26. We'll come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics, including gold, silver, platinum, copper, 
the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And folks, if we go over to Deutsche Bank, this is something you want to keep your head wrapped around a bit. So Deutsche Bank, folks, is one of the largest banks in the world. Uh, now, this baby in you know, 2007 was trading at $92. Comes down to $11 in the crash. Uh, does a nice counter trend bounce in 2010 up to 47 and then came all the way back down in August of uh, 2017, 2016 rather, time just flies, and got to a price point of uh, $8.83. Now, that's a high volume low. That is uh, an aspect, that people are worried about Deutsche Bank that they're going to have to get bailed out, that they have so many derivatives. I mean, there's a million stories here about Deutsche Bank. And... It looks to me like we're going to go test that 884 again. So what you have is this. The high of the low is 1235. Right now we're at 1313. Uh, what you did have last month is you had a huge expansion of volume. We did volume of 369 million. And we take a look at this. The closer that we get onto this, um, this came down the last few days with good volume. You have the... $8.83 sticking out like a sore thumb. So the larger action is that it's going to go test it. And my point here, if in fact that's what we get, that is going to make the market so nervous. And, and the reason being is this. It's like, okay, so we had a downdraft. Fast, furious, and all of the above. The market participants are basically, it seems like they're blaming the VIX. It's not the VIX, folks, okay? It's just selling. And, you know, we talk about ETFs, sell the ETF, you sell the stocks. You know, it's the chicken or the egg. It, it keeps going lower, right? The, the banking structure is different in the aspect that if you have a, an event in Deutsche Bank, that's when it spills over to other banks. And the event would be inside the derivative market. If, if Deutsche keeps going south and they're actually going to have a problem, well, then... The German government's going to have to come up and bail them out. And the real question is, who's on the other side of some of those trades? So that's something that we're going to want to keep a, a big eye on uh, because it looked for a bit, uh, for quite a bit, that, uh, you know, they, could, they were out of trouble. Uh, bottom line is that they got right back into trouble technically pretty quickly. If we go over to Yelp, we take a look at Yelp. Yelp closed at $44.94. This is trading at $40.99. So this is down 10%. Let's see what this is set up like. Okay, so let's see. It's still at highs. We've got a big consolidation happening. Okay, so they see first quarter revenue, uh, 218 million to 221. They had seen uh, 219. Well, let's go to the fourth quarter first. Okay, so fourth quarter. 
The estimate was 27 cents. They only made 19. This is an adjusted estimate, but bottom line, they didn't make it. Uh, their advertising revenue, 208 million. That's local advertising revenue. Um, their apps on unique devices went up 20%. That's a good number. Fourth quarter net revenue, the estimate was 215. They're saying they're going to make 218. Their fiscal year revenue, the estimate was 951. They're saying they're going to make from 935 to 965. Bottom line, we take a look at this. What you're seeing is that uh, they're selling this off approximately three and a half dollars, which would get you down to the last uh, high volume low. It's a high volume low that's laying out there on December 7th. And it looks like uh, that's exactly what it's going to more than likely go after. Let's go take a look at the uh, XA. Well, actually, let's go with Royal Gold. So Royal Gold come out with numbers. Let's, um, a lot of these golds don't trade uh, after the close anyway. Yeah, so Royal Gold's not trading, uh, meaning it's trade. Well, it's actually saying it's trading at the same price. Uh, $80.69. We're trading $80.69. Bottom line, they missed their numbers slightly. So it's not the end of the world. Pretty cool. Uh, if we do go look at the... The close inside the NDX100 versus what we closed at, you're going to see the NDX100, the Qs are a lot lower. We closed at $160.21. That is trading at $159.64. Um, and if we take a look at uh, a few of the doubles and triples, what you're going to see is that the um, SQQ, uh, which is the uh, pro shares, that closed at uh, $19.34. And that is trading at 1956. And what that has to do with is that as we did come into that close, those uh, futures ran a lot, uh, a lot lower. Okay, gold. Let's go. Well, actually, let's go over to the dollar first. We take a look at the dollar. The dollar caught a bid out here today. You're up 724 ticks. You've done 32,000 contracts. That has volume and that has price spread. So uh, what's game here is 90.530. Uh, that is the low of the 12th of January. The volume out there is 40,000 contracts. So I've done 32 today. Bottom line, we'll see whether they can get up to that uh, level. If we go take a look at the GLD, we stay in the metals market. GLD today pulls back. 59 cents, you do 8.5 million. Now, see, this is cool, man. This is set up. This is okay. This is coming back into where we broke topside on the 2nd of January. And you're coming in with a lot less volume. We're coming in with 11 million versus 11. Uh, we're coming in with 8.5 million versus 11.7. Let's go look at the SLV inside the silver market. Silver SLV is down 24 cents. Yeah, silver's a problem. This SLV looks like it wants to get on to 1525 or 1541. Silver's, silver just, silver is basically weighing uh, on that gold market too. Well, the dollar, the dollar basically is the name of the game, but silver definitely uh, stopped the projection up inside the gold market. Let's go take a look at the actual future and see where we're at in the future right now. So silver was down 1.6% today. 27 cents. You had 112,000 contracts, which is decent contract volume. Yeah, $16.18 looks like the number. And what that number is, that's how we came off the lows of December 13th. That's where that's set up right now. Uh, if we go take a look at some of the marijuana stocks, uh, Canopy Growth, this is pretty cool how these are setting up, folks. So. You know, these had a huge expansion of price, right? If we bring canopy growth back five months, it was $9. Does an expansion up to 43. Right now, it looks like it's going to do a small ABC down. You know, it got to a price point today of a 30, 31. Couldn't hold that. You got a high volume low of $20.85. But it looks to me like this thing can get right back into 1365. And if that's what you got, that's going to be pretty cool because... These, this showed huge signs of strength. And now we're in February. Uh, this company here happens to do some big numbers. But the closer also that we get to uh, July, 
the more that you're going to see that these uh, legal Canadian companies that do that are in that business, it's going um, fully recreational in Canada, folks. And that's, they're going to be printing money. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials down 19. NASDAQ off 63. S&P's down 23. We're coming right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? You know, you can't time the markets. I didn't. And in 2006, I set out on a mission to do just that. I began by surrounding myself with the greats like Tom O'Brien, Larry Pesavento, David White, and Basil Chapman. I read countless books and even looked to the moon and planets for answers. Now, we both know that trading is 80% mental. So I learned the exact tools that Tony Robbins uses to overcome fear. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And last March, the folks at Timers Digest began tracking my newsletter signals, which through January 18th, 2018 placed me as the number one gold timer for that exact time frame. Now, I can't officially be recognized until Timers Digest has a full year of signals, but clearly, I've learned how to time the markets, and I'd like to teach you how to do that as well. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain access to my live and archive workshops where I show you the exact same patterns that earn me this number one ranking. If you're looking for great market calls and an education, sign up for Mastering Probability today at TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls. Nah. Nah. Now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go uh, take a look at uh, good old Amazon. So Amazon, folks, um, held up, I mean, big time. And, you know, what does happen, uh, it seems that when you get downdrafts, Amazon is many times one of the last ones to fall apart and one of the first ones to take off topside. If I bring this back and you want to see something that's pretty amazing, I remember this so well, Amazon actually took off, you know, uh, way before the market took off in 2008. Uh, Amazon had made its low... In December of 2008, actually November of 2008, at 34 bucks. Uh, by the time the market was getting off the lows, Amazon uh, was up at uh, 125. Yeah, and as we're talking, I, thanks, Peter. There is no doubt what is happening is that they are selling this market down uh, viciously, folks. After the close, we have the NQs right now down 119. You have the S&Ps down 30. 
And just to give you an idea, the NQs are at 65.32. Uh, when we were coming into the close, the NQs were 65.90. So you're talking about another 54 points down. Uh, S&Ps, let's go look at these for a second. So where, where, you know, bottom line is that you're into a high volatile market right now. And this is what tends to happen. So pitch this. We've been in a non-volatile market for almost six years. That is like, it has been unheard of, folks. Um, you can get in a non-volatile market seven, eight months in a row, then volatility comes back for two or three months in a row, then it leaves again. You can expect, let's see, February, March, April, May, June, you, we, got, we got three or four months of a highly volatile market. You know? Now, it, it won't be as volatile it is, as it is these last few days, because this is what normally happens. What normally happens is that, let's say this is an ABC down. If it's an ABC down, you know, we're going to be down in the S&Ps like at 2,400, 2,450 pretty quickly. When you get down there, because the beating was so severe so quick, the volatility dies down a bit for, you know, three or four more weeks and then picks up again. And then, and that, and the volatility, by the way, is both ways. What happens is that when volatility comes in like this, you better make sure that if you're trading, whether you're trading upside or downtown, if you're going overnight, you better make sure that you are not over your head margin-wise because this is the type of market that can open up 30 or 40 S&E points or market open down 30 or 40 S&P points. And, you know, you, when you start putting that together, it's really cool because as long as you're not over your head, there's very good trades to be made very quickly you know, in the next three or four months. That's how this thing shakes out. And the more that you hear, uh, if we have the banks come out again tomorrow and say they won't, well, I can tell you this. The banks came out today and said, no, all's clear. All's clear. Give me a break. Bottom line is that I, I don't expect them to say that tomorrow. But if they do, guess what? Don't buy. And basically get your stops in. Because um, this morning, how one after the other marched out saying bye, 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 that's, that's a big problem. The Deutsche Bank deal that I just brought up, that's also a big problem because what we don't want to see is that you don't want to see a contagion from some type of derivative product. The, the contagion from the XIV won't happen because the, what happens there is that um, the amount of money wasn't enough, folks, okay? Uh, people got hurt. There's no doubt, you know, there's two point, uh, well, there's actually $3 billion that went south. That three billion is not a lot of money, though, in the context of markets. Uh, that's what you know. The XIV had closed at ninety-two dollars uh, on Tuesday, uh, Monday rather. And bottom line, you know, we opened yesterday at five dollars. You know, that's just that's gone. What we will have happen is this, and this is where it's going to be interesting to see if the Deutsche Bank has something to do with it. Is the derivative product of that? So picture that if you had an account, any broker dealer account and you were actually in that product, and you were on 50% margin. The way that the accounts are set up, that we all sign, what it says is that if you get wiped out, you still have to come up with that money. And so what normally happens is this. Normally what happens is that you have, the broker dealers have very good protections for themselves and for us inside they're broker-dealer platforms. You know, like I used TD Ameritrade Think or Swim all the time, okay? And it's almost impossible to basically get over your head because of the fact that they have safeguards in there. If you're getting too close to actually even a margin call, bottom line, they turn around, they'll either sell you out, they'll give you a call, they'll do all of the above. That being said, the way that this VIX product blew up there's no way that any broker-dealer could have done anything about it. The reason being is that it was still trading at 90 when we came into the close, and the net asset value was only $6. That's where the, the disconnect came in. And the disconnect came in because the net asset value was not staying up with what it was actually trading at, and so guess what? 
as the close. There was no way to cover it. There was no way to get the broker dealer out of it. Now the question is, is this, who's holding the bag? Now, a $3 billion bag is not a lot for the banking industry. What is a lot is that if you had smaller broker dealers that now are down the tubes, and if there was structured notes. So structured notes, folks, don't trade. But what we don't know is this. How many structured notes are out there that, whether it's Deutsche Bank, whether it's Citibank, whether, you know, was all these sold a product that had a volatility aspect in it, and they blew up. We don't know that because that's non-transparent. We're going to know it. We're going to know it, but, you know, I suspect within um, the next earning cycle, hopefully that's when we're going to know it, the next earning cycle, because we don't want to hear about it that one of the banks are going south because they sold a volatility product to a hedge fund and the structured note that they sold, they lost on. Because, you know, so picture, what happened with Paulson, with, with Goldman and Paulson, Paulson bought a structured uh, note from Goldman. Goldman sold it to a lot of other clients, and this is when the mortgage meltdown came. He was actually shot. Well, guess what? That same type of setup could be out there somewhere, that you have a structured note, but the broker dealer sold to someone else. The real question is, who is the someone else? Was it sold, or did the bank keep it? That's that's the real that's the real uh, sixty-four dollar question out here. That I suspect if we keep our eye on the banking structure, we'll we'll get to know. Right now, our own banks are strong. You know, if we take a look at uh, J.P. Morgan, technically they're strong, and technically. What that's saying is that our banks don't have it. Uh, Deutsche Bank, different ballgame. But our banks are strong, and that has to do with the, the yield curve, folks. The curve is going up right along the 2, the 3, the 5, the 7, the 10, and the 30s. You get that? Banks make a fortune. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow finished down 19. NASDAQ down 63. S&P's off 30. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. 
With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity if you'd like to find out more about great panther silver then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the nyse market symbol gpl or the tsx symbol gpr don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv for the latest market information Welcome back, folks. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see we're doing an open house this month. And what is it? It's the Tiger's Den open house. Now, the Tiger's Den, folks, uh, we've had this, uh, oh, my God, it, it's just years now. Uh, it's a trading room that we have. It's open 24 hours a day. Great trading room. Lots of Tigers and Tigresses uh, from bottom line right across the world. Uh, and if you want to understand how markets go, a lot of the talk with a lot of great traders, have a lot of great ideas. Um, bottom line, come on in. Uh, it's, it's open house. It's a 30-day free trial. You like it, bottom line, you can stay. You don't like it, you can leave. Uh, this is a great time to do it, uh, and which is pretty cool. We didn't do this on purpose. We were doing it in February anyway. Uh, but when you do have volatility like this, um, that's the name of the game. You know? So if you want a lot of ideas, you want a lot of sets of eyes uh, that, you know, we that folks have been in this market for a long period of time, too. Great, great way to uh, basically uh, check it out. Uh, as you're also over there, uh, on your cell phones, folks, okay, bottom line, Tiger TV is really easy to get. What we've found is that one of the easiest ways to do it is just go to YouTube, put TFNN Corp in, search bar. You're going to see TFNN come up. You can subscribe. And the difference in subscribers just hit one button. The, what the difference is, is that as all the programs come up, when, we st when we're live, bottom line is that you just get a little thing, TFN is live, if you want to hit it, you can hit it, you hit one button, bottom line is that you get the voice, you get the video, you get everything simultaneously, it's fast, it's easy, um, and bottom line is that you, then you're in touch uh, with the uh, market uh, whenever you want, for no, for no cost, zero cost, that's the bottom line. Uh, let's go over and take a look at uh, O-R-L-Y. This is O'Reilly Automotive. That just came out with numbers. That closed at 252. That's trading 247. Let's see what they had to say. So uh, estimate was 363. They're looking at 255. Oh, they 278 to 352. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Whatever you want in life, folks. Visualize it, step into it, take ownership, and then fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Look forward to speaking right back here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Go get them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.